Hi guys, today I will give you a quick teaser into what you can expect from our upcoming RTC on workshops as well as a uh, live coding session that's uh, coming this Tuesday. Uh, so what we are going to do, I'm going to show you how you can uh, download a pre-trained model from GitHub repository, uh, which is written in PyTorch, then export it to another Onyx format, and then finally put it inside the JavaScript code that you can run uh, directly in the browser be it either on your phone or on the computer. So let's uh, hop to our computer and, and see how we can do that. So we are starting uh, working on our computer. Uh, so let's see. Uh, here's the GitHub repository that we'll be taking the model from. Uh, the style transfer is not a new, conce not, not a new concept by any means. Uh, it, is, uh, it was proposed in 2016 and then later in 2017 uh, that's where this code is uh, from. Uh, this architecture was proposed that you can uh, train a model to represent one single style and then uh, quickly uh, apply it to any given image. Here we can see the example. Uh, on the left we have uh, a mosaic uh, image. That's the image we're going to be taking the style from. Then uh, on the right we have a big doors, a gate, that we'll be applying the style on. And finally the output, which you can see is well, the style is well transferred. Uh, on this repository, there are three more uh, styles already pre-trained and available for you. But if you want uh, anything else, uh, feel free to train uh, your model yourself. All the instructions are right here. Uh, OK, so uh, after downloading this, this model, uh, which I already did, uh, we have to load it inside Python script. For that, we need to have uh, the model architecture, which is not saved inside the, the file that you're downloading. This is uh, available on the repository I just showed you. Uh, we'll be explaining uh, details of this architecture uh, on uh, the live coding session as well as uh, workshops. We, uh, so if you are interested, please uh, sign up for that. Uh, and we'll see you then. Uh, after uh, the model is downloaded and uh, loaded inside PyTorch model, uh, what we need to do is export it into different format called Onyx. The advantages of that is that we don't need Python anymore to run the code. Uh, so we can put it inside JavaScript and run it uh, in our browser. So we can do that with just those couple of lines of code. Uh, it's basically two lines. OK, so let's do it right now. I just need to run this this Python script, and that's that's it. There's our res resulting model. Well, of course, it won't show here, but it's all good. Okay, so uh, after that, we need uh, our HTML code for well, the page that we are going to display it uh, display it on. That's everything. Just those sixteen lines, and uh, here's our uh, JavaScript code. Again, uh, we'll dive into the details uh, of it and what you can actually configure in, inside uh, of this Onyx runtime uh, on the live coding session as well as, uh, as our workshops. Here we just need to create our session and provide the model that we just exported. OK, so that's done. Now I just need to run the web uh, webpack as well as the server. And let's go to back to our browser and see if it works. Yeah, OK. So as expected, everything is working properly. It's not very quick because it's running on our CPU. Uh, so that's not the most optimal way to run uh, AI models. And uh, so we are achieving just uh, about 1.5 uh, frames per second. Uh, we can also run it, uh, as I said, uh, on our phone. So let's do that now. I just need to do a couple of changes. Those changes are required because aspect ratio of phone cameras uh, is different than uh, what's, uh, what's available here on the MacBook. So just switching it around. And let's see if it works. OK, so switching over to our phone. Let's just visit the page. Allow it to load. And there we go. Uh, as we can see, it's uh, 
we are looking at the glass of water with uh, the mosaic style applied to it. Um, this one is running about one frame per, per second uh, and we'll show you uh, many techniques how to optimize and speed it up so that you can actually uh, treat it like a video feed on our upcoming workshops and live coding session. So if you, if you are interested, please remember to sign up. Okay, guys, so that's everything from me today. Uh, if you want to learn more, uh, please remember to sign up for the upcoming live coding session on the Tuesday, uh, as well as our Artision uh, conference workshops, uh, which are uh, in October. And I hope to see you there. Oh, 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 oh,